Hello everyone, welcome back. This is my Doom 64 walkthrough, 100% I might add. And we're on level 2, the Terraformer. Let's kill these guys off in front of us with the uh, pistol. Stand on this little ledge here. And, gra and snipe these guys off. They don't seem to really be able to shoot me for some reason. To the right there are a couple more zombie men. And to the left there are some imps. Okay, I'm going to get my shotgun out for the imps. I'm trying to shoot the guy in the corner there. Okay, he came out. Nice. So we came into this level with 56% health. Don't worry too much. It's not the most difficult of levels. Uh, we will get the health back. And um, there's a stim pack around here, actually. Grab that. And when you walk into this room, you go to the right, we have the door here. Open it up, and we have this a dark area. Now, left of this square, we have this path going down in the middle there. Run down through here. Um, press on this button here. The room will light up in blue. This pillar will lower down, the door will open there, and a door will open here too. Go around here, there's a couple more guys we can kill. And then, these guys seem to teleport in. In this game, what tends to happen is a lot of enemies teleport in, rather than kind of start kind of idle or anything. And any of these guys from this room that come through, we can dispatch of now. Let's just go in here and take care of them. There's one guy here. Actually, that was probably the guy we just killed. Maybe we can grab a backpack. It'll be useful for later. Okay, we'll go back through here. When we come to this area here, next to the blue area, we can go left. And as soon as you walk into here, um, the room will lower like an elevator. So let's do this. Let's go through here. Um, okay, what we'll do, we'll grab this chain gun, run all the way back, and shoot the barrel. If you can. There we go. That should kill most of the ones remaining. We'll chainsaw anyone left. Try and conserve a little bit of ammo. I didn't quite do that the way I wanted to. Uh, I didn't get back here fast enough. The enemies ran in front of the barrel, unfortunately. But we got there. Let's get some more health. I did say we'd be getting our health back from that horrible last level. And down here, there's just some bullets. It's nice to get hold of the chain gun, though. It will be useful. But, um, yeah, let's go back up. Squishy sound. Nice. <laughs> and let's go to the right again, through here. We need to get a, a key card. So you can, as you can see, the blue key card is in here. As soon as you walk up to this and press this button on the back of its pedestal, it will teleport around. It will end up somewhere random. And um, where it finally teleports to, so now it's over here on this pedestal, it'll settle somewhere after a few teleports, and then these doors will open up here. It's gone from there, and it's going to end up here. Okay, so these doors have opened up now with switches. Only one of them you can press. It's a pretty easy puzzle. Um, all of the switches have these panels next to them. If you press them, they'll just damage you, and I think they kill you or something. Um, the one that doesn't have the panels on, just press the button, and then that will lower down this. And it's kind of a trap. It teleports in some enemies. I thought it was usually two imps, but this time it was three. I guess it's I guess it's three. <laughs> what do I know? Let's grab this med kit or medi kit. They are actually called medi kits in Doom for some reason. Let's run back through here. Now we have the blue key. Run to the right and then right again. Grab this armor. And then through here we can take care of some imps. Just keep running around this blue corridor. Avoiding the imps fireballs. You can just run over these gaps here, take care of more imps. Just shooting them as we go. Nice. Okay. Again, we can run over this. We find ourselves facing a door. Let's open it. Again, we can take care of more imps. Just stand here and shoot them. They're not too difficult. They're imps. Sorry, they're fireballs. Um, I travel really slowly, so yeah, not too bad. I'm going to get out my chainsaw here. We'll grab these rockets. Once we go around here, um, these spectres will come out, and we're going to chainsaw their faces right off. There we go. There's only three of them, I believe. Okay, we'll continue down. This door will come through later, don't worry about that. And over here, all of these panels look the same apart from this one, so it's, again, a pretty obvious secret. It will lower this here, and then we can grab some ammo. 
Nice. Press one of these buttons to go back down. Okay, these guys here, I normally shoot from a different vantage point, but yeah, when you come through here, by the way, um, you actually end up back at this area here, which I didn't go down earlier. So yeah, if you continue instead of going through the blue door, you'll end up at this area here, which has some light amplification goggles. They don't really do anything because this room here looks pretty much the same when you wear them, so there's no real point to them. But on the far end over here, you'll actually find a berserk pack, okay? So you'll want to take that. And you'll need the red key for this door. This machinery here is why this level is called the terraformer, and you'll see why later. So let's go back through the blue door. Now what we can do now is drop down here. Okay. Grab the shells if you need them. Uh, this part's kind of annoying. Uh, you can see these blue lights on, on the uh, walls here. Once you walk past here, um, some crushes will come down. I'm going to run to the kind of that corner area over there straight away. Any of these flashing areas that you can see on the floor are fine to step on. It's basically saying um, you can step on here. Basically telling you where to stand so that you don't get crushed. Okay, we'll go through here. We'll grab the red key, which just happens to lower. Nice. It will teleport in some imps over here when you grab that key. But now we'll have to make our way back. Again, if you go towards these pillars, they'll start lowering again. Again, just do the same thing, but the other way. And then go through the teleporter. And you'll be back on the upper ledges. Okay, turn around. Go through the door here. And now with the red key, we can go back into this area with light amplification goggles. I'm going to pick them up now. It doesn't really matter when you pick them up. As I said, if you go through this area, it's still pitch black with red arrows, so it doesn't really change anything. And we'll use the red key on this door. It will trigger in some imps when you go in here, so just watch out. A little bit of a small trap. Nothing to worry about, though. So we can handle it. When you go in here, press this button and then watch the machinery. It'll smash into the ground. Hence the name, the Terraformer. So it'll do this a few times. It'll create a path for us to go down. Just gonna kind of watch him. The door will open, we can go out. There we go. So let's go down here, maybe get our chain gun out here. Shoot some imps. There we go. Nice. Let's get the shotgun out. In these alcoves in the side, there are some zombie men to just kind of go in left and right. Shoot them down. Nothing too difficult. Uh, you can't really get their ammo because they're hidden behind these cages. Go through here, press the door. It will uh, reveal some steps around this corner. There are two zombie men, actually. There's one there. Okay, he is dead. Go through this door. There are some more Zombertos to take care of. Any more? Okay. Right, we've killed them. I'm going to grab my chain gun again and just mow down these pesky little imps at the top. It's kind of a little control room that they have up there. Okay. Nice. Let's grab a little bit of ammo on the floor from these guys we killed. Again, you can shoot down these guys here. I'm going to start using some shotgun ammo. So this room here um, will contain the yellow key. You can go either way, it leads to the same place. Uh, just beware, there's kind of uh, a lot of things blocking your line of sight to these zombies. The zombie men, I should call them. But kind of just move around here and you'll be able to take care of them nicely. There we go. Not really taking damage yet. That should be all of them, right? Just go around, collecting up all their ammo. Any health that you need, it's all here. Okay, so go back to the start of the room. If you go in here and turn right, and then right again, there's a button. Can you press this button? It will lower down this teleporter here. And if you note here, um, the yellow key is on a pedestal in this alcove. We can't access that just yet, but we will be able to soon. Let's go through the teleporter where the imps were. 
in the control room I mentioned. Press the button and go back through the teleporter. Now we have the yellow key, but if we turn around and go to the left here at the back of this area, we'll find a secret has opened up with four nice boxes of rockets. That's awesome. Nice to get your hands on some rockets. Okay, let's head back down here through to this purple kind of tinted area through this door. Now this is the door that I said earlier we'd come back through with the kind of panels on the walls and the secret over there. If we continue this way, we can go through here now and grab the supercharge, get ourselves to a nice handy 200% uh, health. Let's make sure we've got lots of bullets and things, full health. We've got a decent amount of armor. Okay, nice. I think we've got everything that we need now, pretty much. Let's head back through to the starting area, and we have the yellow door. Just beware, there are some imps behind. Should be one here as well. And that should be it. Every enemy should be killed now. Pick up the shells. And then press this button and we should be finished. And that was the Terraformer. A very a very uh, nice level. I really, always, I always enjoy playing this level when I come back to playing, uh, when I, you know, replay this game. It's really fun. Lots to do in it. Nicely designed. Not too difficult though, not too difficult, but things will take you by surprise um, on your first playthrough through the level. But uh, once you get the hang of it, it's not too big of a level and has really nice gameplay. Anyway, on to main engineering next. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next.